This exercise will involve removing and placing single ties and also placing the proper type of power chain. And if you look at this picture of, on the screen now, you'll see that we have a couple different examples of, of single ties. This first example is a 0 0.010 lumen with a lot of thickness to the rubber. Um, this does not work well at all with the Innovation L brackets. Um, instead, what you would probably want to favor is something that has a larger lumen, a larger opening, with less rubber around the periphery, because this is going to hold on to that bracket much, much more readily. In a similar fashion, if you look at this top power chain, a lot of rubber with a small lumen. This does not work well at all for the lingual brackets, but rather this large lumen with thinner rubber and also a really tight inner bracket distance with that power chain. You can see how much shorter for six links this power chain is than, than the top version because the inner bracket distance is less on the lingual, so you need a tighter, a tighter closed coil or closed um, power chain. When you're removing the power chain or a single tie, you just simply use a scaler. And if you come in from the incisal aspect, you can just roll it down. For this first example, we just had two power chain, two single ties on the canines. When you go in and place single ties, I like a really fine point hemostat. And when you do this engagement, you always want to start with the gingival wing either side, then you wrap up around both incisal wings and back down to the gingival wing. If we look back um, at the bigger bracket, if you look at the amount of area where you have to get that ligature tie around this wing versus the incisal ring. There's just much easier to get that engagement around the gingival portion first. So again, you're going to come in from the gingival wing, incisal, incisal, gingival. If you're having a very difficult time getting these engaged, one thing you can also choose to do is you can use a scaler and put it in the lumen of that single tie and kind of help it guide you into the right spot. So if you have a difficult tie wing for any reason, you can use a scaler to act as an adjunct. The other thing that you will often find is it's difficult if you grab with the hemostat from a 180 degree approach. A lot of times it works better if you take a 90 degree approach because when you're coming in from the lingual surface, it'll be easier for you to get it to hook to that gingival wing if you grab the power chain in that way. Going back, same way to take those back off. Go to the incisal and just roll and off those single ties come. So then we'll just move right into placing that lingual power chain. Again, kind of seeing how I've grabbed this power chain with that 90 degree offset. And gingival wing first, incisal wings. Sometimes for the power chain, you can actually just do the, um, the gingival wings both consecutively first, and then move it up to the incisal. And I'm just twisting that to get it into those two incisal wings. So gingival, gingival, incisal, incisal. Gingival, gingival, incisal, incisal. So there we have the power chain in position. And to remove that very easy process as well, you can usually come to the mesial or go straight incisal and just roll it off.